Hi guys, my name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to put a stop to Aptasia in your tank in a simple and cost effective way. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the bell for notifications so that you are notified when I'm uploading new videos. And as always, massive thank you to everyone that's subscribed already and uh, has supported me along my little journey. Absolutely appreciate it. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just wanting to show you a super cost effective way to get rid of Aptasia in your tank quickly and effectively and cheaply. I noticed a few weeks ago that I found uh, a few bits of Aptasia growing on one of my little rocks just behind me and I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys how I would get rid of Aptasia. I hope this helps some of you out there. So all you'll need is a tube of super glue and if you can get the gel type of super glue that's going to be way better than the normal super glue as the normal super glue is super runny and it will go everywhere and it's super messy. I mean I'm always messy regardless uh, and I always end up mangling my uh, tubes of super glue but anyway gel type is going to make life a lot easier. So what we're going to be doing is my Aptasia was actually growing on a separate piece of rock that I can actually take out of the tank so I'll show you how to do it taking the rock out of the tank but I'll also show you if you can't do that and it's all stuck together in the tank I can show you how to do it underwater as well all right let's get straight into it oh and before we begin this will only work if you're wearing a police hat all right so I've got two on this rock right here uh, it might be a little bit hard to see on the video but one there and the other one just down on the side right here so they're a pest and enemy and definitely not something that you want in your tank they will take over and yeah kill your corals essentially so definitely something you want to remove now with this piece of rock it's actually not attached to anything in the tank so I could remove the whole piece but later on I'll show you how to do it keeping it in the tank as well. So when you take it out you'll notice that they completely retract and they just look like brown blobs on the rock. So you just want to literally just glue over top of that. Make sure you've covered it all completely. Use a nice big dollop of glue. I always end up using way too much but that's all you want to do is just glue right over the top of it. Now I did the side one, but I didn't actually realize that I didn't get it properly when I glued this. Either that or there was another one that popped up when I put it back in the water. So it was actually a really good opportunity to show you how to do it in the water. So it's right there and you want to use a uh, baster to sort of retract it and blow water all over it until it's retracted a bit because it's just going to make it so much easier. Now when you put the glue under water it actually becomes a bit like, I don't know, a bit, bit like Play-Doh. So you can actually touch it without it sticking to you too bad and you just sort of smoosh it into the the crevice or you smoosh it over it so it's a bit of a weird feeling underwater but yeah you can sort of do it without getting your fingers too stuck and caught in it so yeah it's pretty cool but it is way more trickier doing it underwater I must admit <laughs> So yeah, you just want to firmly sort of press in there, make sure it's all covered. But yeah, obviously it's way more fiddly doing it underwater, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> But since this, I've actually gone and bought myself some Xenia coral, but I think it's actually uh, the waving hand coral. I don't actually think it's Xenia, but regardless, I think it looks cool. Uh, you can hardly even tell there's been no sign of the um, Aptasia, so it's all completely gone now. 
much for watching guys don't forget i am on instagram as well so don't forget to go and follow me on instagram as well but we'll see you next time